We are also now joined by political analyst Amadine Uyi, our own uh, head of chief uh, Amadine Uyi, to take a look at the assessment of the compliance uh, to lockdown guidelines. Good morning, Amadine. Good morning. Uh, good to have you. I, I almost made you a political analyst in my <laughs> intro. <laughs> good to have you. How have you been, Amadine? It's been fine in Abuja. Great. So bring us up to speed. It's four days. Uh, how is Abuja looking in terms of compliance? Uh, yesterday we went out as usual. Uh, what we observed was that a lot of people had their nose mask, uh, their face mask, nose mask, whatever you choose to call it. They had it on. Then uh, security agencies were even stopping commuters, stopping vehicles to inquire about uh, vehicles and people to know why they were not putting on their face masks. Mm -hmm. We also got information that there were several areas in the city center where you would not be even allowed to pass without your face mask on. So in terms of compliance, we can say eight out of 10 people are complying with the directive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the use of face masks has evolved from just being uh, a health necessity now to a fashion trend. Right. Uh, you see, uh, when the uh, lockdown was first initiated by the federal government, the normal surgical mask that used to be very cheap rose to about 500 mm -hmm. naira per piece. Mm -hmm. But in the course of the weeks, now uh, with so many people uh, going out of their own way to get their own face mask, the one uh, done with fabric, the price has come down drastically, mm -hmm. and many Nigerians, many residents of Abuja are complying with it. All right. Uh, Amadine, that's for the face mask. Uh, what did you see in terms of social distancing, in terms of those who, you know, go to banks? Because we saw visuals, especially from Lagos, I don't know what Abuja looks like, of people who went into the bank in their droves. Uh, do you see proper supervision or enforcement of all of these guidelines as expected? That has been a really uh, a fundamental problem because it's not just only Lagos. It's been across the country. Abuja has not been left out because even our correspondents from the northern uh, Beru have also complained, from the northern region has also complained that the same is, the same holds sway in their states of residence. For Abuja, there has been no single compliance to social distancing. You go to the crowd, you see a large gathering, not only the crowd. We observe that a lot of business plazas have refused to open. And you go there, you see uh, the, the, those who own shops, customers, all of them parked at the gates uh, trying to see how they, they enter. Mm -hmm. There's been no source of uh, compliance to the social distancing directive. I appreciate you and what you do, you and the team in Abuja. Please do keep safe as you always update us with happenings over there. Thank you, Amaka. All right.